This tutorial is going to show you exactly how to glaze in your acrylic paintings to create shadow effects like those seen on the painting on the left and light, fog, or mist effects like those seen in the painting on the right. Thanks for watching. So glazing is a great way to add lighting or shading effects to existing paintings without having to go in and, and really blend. So when you have a base layer in like this that you're happy with, you can go ahead and add shading like I am right here to this leopard. So I can start to show contours of his muscles and his body and different light catching the top ridges of, of certain body parts and things like that with this glaze effect. Very quickly, very simply, without disrupting the entirety of the painting or having to go in and try to rebuild blends. You know, it would be very hard to try to re-blend this uh, with all the spots. Everything would be disrupted. So this is a way to let you know, all the detail in the leopard stay put, stay clean and crisp and there and still visible. And we can just put a nice thin glaze on top of it without disrupting anything underneath. So that's kind of the beauty of glazing is it retains everything underneath, but also adds a nice subtle touch like this. So you can see those different shadows and highlights bringing that 3D body to life and adding, you know, the different uh, textures to the body and, and the muscles on his shoulders and, and hind legs and, and top of his back. And really the key to glazing, I know my palette's always pretty muddy and dirty, but you can see up there in the top, that's just pure black. And I'm thinning it out completely to to a watercolor even thinner than a watercolor consistency because we just want it to be a thin wash of pigment and a very subtle touch. So I just have a filbert brush here. I'm thinning out that black. You can see, you can see through the black up on the palette. And I'm dipping my brush in the water, dumping a bunch of water into that uh, black color, spreading it around, thinning it out, getting it very watered down, very, very, very watered down. And then I'm just washing over the portions of the painting that I want to be shaded and shadowed. And you can see right through it, but it still gives that, that touch. So that's the beauty of glazing, and you can use it in so many different applications. You can use it like this, and you can use all different colors. I'm just choosing a direct black because I think it will work well here. But you could use a darker orange here, or even a brown, or an umber, or something. And this same technique can be applied to larger areas, full paintings, uh, you know, just it can be used to create fog and mist and uh, highlights and things like that. You can use it for glow effects around the edges of a subject. So it's really a versatile, great tool to have in your hip pocket. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and let you just watch this in real time and, and see how to work in a glazing effect on some of your paintings. So hopefully this helps. And then at the end, I'll have a, a link to that forest, that pine tree forest, that misty forest painting that I showed in the beginning. And if you want to click on that link, it'll show you how to use this same watered down glazing effect, but with a brighter white. And you can whitewash. You know, I whitewashed multiple glazing layers with pure white over that forest and it gave it a nice fog effect. So uh, yeah, again, hope this helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.